Defunk's trolling me. Yeah, he is. I was, I'm hurt. I would. I got. I got schmixed. We'd love I got to see the, up. Would love to see it come out, but it would also be a nightmare. Maybe it's just Terry in the bot. Ah. Oh. Terry's in the robot, dude. He spins the wind. That's how he talks you. He's inside the bot. <laughs> Oh. Fuck immediately coming in for a strike. Yep. And now we're back to this. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome to they the are, zone. They are, not, they are not afraid to jump just, in on each other here. I just hope our competitors exciting. keep in mind that there's only seven minutes on the clock. Right. So. <laughs> I think they're recognizing that being able to get in on each other. Yep, yep. Quimby needs to get a little closer though when he's off stage. I'm kind of interested to see if we're going to see the raw uh, side B reflector come into play here at all. Um, well, we'll see it like that, I guess. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But against the praise of the sun, I wonder if we'll see any Time answers. Time it'll work out really well. Oh, Ooh, okay. okay. Damage. Okay. I Both see people you. trying to spike each other. <laughs> all, right, all right, they're trying to shut us up with this. So they want to end stocks in under a minute. But minute passes. We might be seeing it. Oh, nice air dodge from Quinby to get out of that. Yep. That's exactly what you have to do. You try anything else, you will do. I mean, maybe Defunk read the no mix up, mix up, oh, and jumps there, gets caught, caught by the praise the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna always call it that. We fit out here trying to flex so hard, our muscles turn to plasma. <laughs> That's what that is. Get served, no follow up though. Oh! Down tilt, no. Oh. Lots of, really, there's lots of poking going on here, honestly. Yeah. Um, but a lot more aggressive than I thought it would be so far. True, yeah. Down smash close it, and we're basically even here. I mean, 46, you're not feeling too bad about, but. No. Um, but he does need to start racking it quick. Nice right. parry. We're still within range where I'd say this is, you know, Rob could bring this back pretty quick. I mean, he, oh, he, yeah. he hefty boy. We, we will see damage go back and forth here. But right now, all the damage going in Quinn's way as he racks it up into funk. He smashed that volume. Yep. Both people shielding on the on the ledge or on the platform for a second before they decide, you know what, let's just leave this area. <laughs> you find yourself on a platform, leave the area and tell an adult. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> either characters <laughs> <laughs> Help me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, other characters need help in that scenario. Kind of careless dry dry replacement I've been seeing from Defunct when he just kinda of tosses it over the edge and not really gonna catch anyone on the ground because of the high arc from the throw, but Quinn looking thirsty for the kill. He wants to try and make him make this a big lead, or at least keep it at what it was from previous thought. Right now he is doing a fairly good job of taking, keeping control of the stage, yeah. and then just oh, oh the oh, auto oh. parry. Imagine if you had to that volleyball was a nice fit. parry every single time on those really small, like a fast moves. Okay, uh, I didn't know Gyro shut that down. That's a good option to, to be aware of. Absolutely. Um. And that might be why we're not seeing Quinn do a whole lot of zoning, just because the sun kind of does a lot of your horizontal uh, spacing with the uh, soccer ball being your mix-up. Yeah, the gyro just stop it. Right. Yeah. Plus, with all the the uh, deep breathing damage, I think being in uh, for Quinn can be pretty favorable. But right now, Defunk looking to even this up real quick. Ooh. Oh, nice. Ready, tech. Oh my! The slide boy. Let's go, boys! Goal! <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those like really fast headbutt goals you see in soccer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Came in an instant. That's the that's the South American Wii Fit trainer. No borders here. <laughs> A nice finish that game. A lot yep. faster paced than I expected it to be. I agree. Quite enjoyable first game of the set. I think though. If Defunk is looking to pull this back, he's got to build a wall. Yes. He's got to... He's got to... He's got to... He really has to use Gyros to control the stage more. Just, he's just lobbing them at Quimby, and he's just shielding him to go out Gyros disappearing. Right, right. And he needs to make sure that's set up in there. Right. Make sure it stays out. And like I pointed out earlier, Quinn is particularly good at the counter-poking game, where if you try and go up an aerial, and he's just going to wait for the jump and then come up underneath you with that nair and, and string it into a two, or two or three piece combos. Yeah. And rack up a lot of damage that way. So you got to be smart about how you poke him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, it's harder to get just like true combo starters because of how cleverly Quinn decides to place himself. 
Um, and I always find that deep breathing to rack up the damage early on at the very beginning of the games. There's that, that side beat to stop the projectile you're talking about. It worked out for pretty well there. Got a little bit of damage off of it too. It's going to be one in. I'm not sure if that's ever a bait or if he just thinks he's going to get away with it and then reacts and shields. I'm not quite certain, but... I, I'm not sure, but on her way... Ooh! Soccer Launch ball. the volleyball back out. I love it when the soccer ball works against Weepit Trainers. It's like bonus damage. <laughs> oh... Oh, what Ooh. an amazing spot dodge. That was nice. And, and the... In spite of all of that... He just found the one the one mix-up option that was going to try and catch him off guard. And there we go. It's the gyro. That ledge control. See, what I don't get is uh, the Funk here, he's doing a lot of like, these nares behind the gyro, but he's not really reacting to the roll time, even though he knows gyro is covering uh, neutral getup. Right. Um, oh. So, and it's too nice far reaction. away to catch a jump, so hopefully he adjusts the spacing on that. Right now, I'm liking the patience seeing, we're seeing from Dumplum, just kind of waiting out for this deep breathing. And now, he's ready to interact. Very, yes. very uh, good adaption to his game plan here in game two. And right now, looking for any way to extend his damage, but the soccer ball snipe oh. just barely enough to close out the stock. He Only 14% to... on Quinn, we're back to an even game. I don't think he expected it, but he should have been able to DI that and stay alive. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Soccer ball is weird because it's like it's knockback. I think has to do with how fast it's traveling, yeah. and then you also have to deal with the fact that it sends at kind of bizarre angles sometimes. <laughs> yeah, so you're not usually ready for what it's gonna do to you. Yeah. He's trying to stuff the soccer ball with nares, um, but honestly, it's not worth it. He's getting the chip damage from it, and Crane is perfectly happy with that. But finding himself in the corner, tries to force smash on the reversal. Honestly, we're getting a pretty good back and forth from these two. Yeah. Uh, a volley of blows coming from Weepa Trainer, answered by the, the quick pokes and, and gyro from Rob. Oh, what an angle on that soccer ball tonight. That's really nice. He's really good at fitting those right over the ledge. Yeah. You, you see him do it a lot. Once again, throwing the gyro straight at the shield is not the best option for you. I think it was okay in that situation to kind of just stop him from charging, or at least discourage it. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, once the gyro disappears, you get it back instantly. Right. And the big problem is when it goes over them. And when they're too close and you throw gyro and it just goes over them, and it's just out of play for you. There it is! The reverse Ooh, play! I love it. I love it. That's what you really want to see from them. There we go. Oh, the gyro set that up. Oh. <laughs> Keep breathing on the play now. Literally anything will kill Rob. There yeah. it is, yep. It's a quick scoop up from the other. When you got a man with nothing to lose, it's... Uh, oh, shield pressure in the corner. That's not capitalized. Yeah. I mean, it can be hard to call out those jumps in that situation, but you're usually looking for an up air or a roll read. Yep. Um, oh, another spot dodge. Once again, the Funks must, must have picked up on uh, Quinn grabbing out of the corner or something, so I'm catch he's catching that spot dodge a lot. Absolutely. Oh, oh it's now on a ledge a little too long for that. Oh, but finds oh, wow. it on the coming back through the back here. But now he's got the deep nice breathing to worry about, and that could be a lot of damage real quick. He's got to make sure that he doesn't position. get too many bad interactions with it. Yeah. It's, it's, no, it's jumping in with that opened him up for an easy grab. <laughs> Charges it a hard up smash. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, maybe I'll put some butter on it. He'll come towards it. <laughs> Oh, oh, he trails. tried to grab it. Yeah. Uh, not it can yet. suck when you fail to catch your items because it just it puts you in a bad spot so often. Yeah. Um, see, that's where I like the gy the gyro toss because he's at that range where he's gonna he's gonna have to shield it, and then yeah. when they do, oh, they can that caught him. Oh, Defunk looking thirsty for the. Look at this dude. Oh, the air dodge. Gas, gas, gas. <laughs> Gotta step on the gas. <laughs> Tonight, it's right. This man's looking for the close. Quinn trying to get a reversal stomp. Defunk wisely Quinn staying out of his way. Stage. Really good for him. No! No! But praise the sun! Oh. Very excellent play from Defunk. Though. That was. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute bless from Solaire of Astora sets him up for the W. This is what you get when you want a Dark Souls character in Smash. Oh, 